Alright guys, boys and girls, currently standing on a rock somewhere in California. I thought I'd give you a quick little uh, view. It's pretty uh, pretty nasty actually today. You can't see very well. And over here is the ocean. I am currently standing at the highest point of this particular road. And it's all downhill this way and it's pretty much all downhill that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive from right where I am and I'm going to end up down there at the ocean. So um, over here you can see Los Angeles. I will not be getting nowhere near that. And then on this side you can see the city that I actually live in over there. So let's jump off this rock before I eat it. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And get you just a quick little view of this part of the city. Now, I will not be getting any good footage on this camera of the Los Angeles view, so I thought I'd get it now. But uh, this is not the Los Angeles view. It's not really that clear today, but it's still still a pretty view. So I'm currently parked right here, which is just off this little hip. You can see it goes up right here. And I'm going to start at this point, and I'm going to end up down there at the ocean. Okay? And I'm doing it all with just gravity. Now, currently I've got to change out a part, and um, I'm going to ride this on bicycle mode. There are two spots that I know of which may give me... Um, which I may have to pedal for about 20 feet. Everything else is all downhill. <laughs> it's pretty fun. So it's going to be a really cool, this is one of the coolest roads that I've ever um, driven on. And I'm going to take you on it today. It's a one way down the mountain to the ocean. So it's going to be pretty fun, especially on this little ped. <laughs> Alright, well, let's change out some parts and let's get on the road. Again, I'm going to be recording with the other camera, so it's not as great as this one, but you'll get the idea. All right, let's do a little swapping parts real quick. It's not running very good today. Hello, boys and girls. A little maintenance here. Hopefully, I wish this camera had a bigger, wider angle, and it is cheap. And honestly, as cheap as it is, it works really well. Put my helmet on. Okay. So, like I said, it's all downhill from here. We had two. We are at. 2,300 and it's climbing, it's 67, we'll say 70, start recording, 2,370 feet, so we are currently in bicycle mode, I'm going to pedal up this little bit and the rest is all downhill. Going to the ocean from 20, we're at 2400 feet right here. 2411. Can you see it? 2400 feet. Alright, I will let you know when I pedal. Um, well, you know what? I'm going to put my chapstick on. I forgot to do that earlier. That's fine, it's pretty slow. So I wish this camera got the handlebars more in the frame. But they don't. So here we go. here. 
there is a very nice ocean view. I'm going down there. Beautiful. Thing hasn't been running very well on my way up today, so I changed some rollers out. Changed my mix a little bit. It's all a little different, and uh, just gonna have to see what happens. There's the uh, other view. It's really nice. Car behind me of all times, but that's okay. We'll carry plenty of speed around here. It's just one other spot. Now we go a little slow. Fairly windy today. A uh, lot of wind blowing against me right now. There's a view for you. Steady. A lot of wind against me today. It's not a bad thing. So here's my, here's the one spot that I know of that I'm gonna have to pedal. If the car's still behind me. We'll, uh, we'll uh, let him go around. I don't see him. So they were at 2,100 feet. This little bitty spot right here. Pedal, 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 pedal. And we're up. All right, only one other spot that I know of that I may have to pedal a little. I'm going down there to the ocean. There's Los Angeles. I'm going to stop and show you another view. Actually, I'll just let you look at it as we go by. I've taken pictures. I'll post some pictures in the spot when I drive by because it's kind of moving at a pretty good click when I get to that spot. I'd rather carry my speed. That spot is right here. There's Los Angeles spots right after this corner, but I'm not going to slow down. Look at that view. That gorgeous. But we ain't stopping. We got to drive down this hill. Sun in my eye. learned how to lean a little differently since my last incident where my muffler hit. So I'm leaning myself, letting the bike stay up a little bit more. Uh, I love this drive. All downhill from here. We're at 1900 feet. I've actually only driven this other road once. I've been on this road many times. You know the view of Los Angeles down there. I've only been on this road a few times, or this road I'm going to be on, I've only been on it once. So I'm not sure how much speed I can carry down the hill because it's a two-lane road at first, and then it's a one-way, so I can do whatever I want. But after it hits a one-way, it stalls just vertical. It's pretty fun. All right, so we're going to turn. I'm going to have to pedal. Should have carried a little more speed up here, huh? Like I said, I've only been this way once. 
So I'm not sure how much speed I can carry. Thousand dollar fine for the lottery. I could roll, but I'm gonna get it a little bit of speed so we've got some momentum. That's plenty. Beautiful view. Such a nice drive. Such a nice ride and so peaceful. Hardly anybody ever up here in this area. A few tourists that know the area. That's about it. So this is a two lane at the moment. It turns into a one lane. Down further. No guardrails on this road. No edges to be covered. I am going off the edge if I'm going too fast. So I'm going to try not to carry too much speed. I'd rather this be a pleasant drive. Or I should say a pleasant gravity fall. The sun is very bright. I hope, hope the footage is not too bad. No guardrails! Just the right amount of momentum. We are at uh, 1,535 feet currently. <laughs> There's some uphill I got to pedal. The other road, which I'm going to take you down, I only have to pedal that one spot. So, I guess I fibbed. I do have to pedal, but uh, considering I've only pedaled about 50 feet so far, ain't bad. Look at that view. Wow. Gorgeous. Going down there. Such a fun drive, I thought I'd take you guys on it. Now we're going to be going downhill the rest of the way. I watch my speed down these. There is no guardrails. I am slightly unfamiliar with this road, except for the one time I've driven it. This is such a cool road. Alright, so one way. From here on, there's no two lanes. This is me and the hill. This is not a cool road. And actually, it's paved extremely well. I would almost, uh, I would almost enjoy driving up it with the minimal amount of traffic, but that would definitely be a bad idea. And there are stop signs where there's, I guess, places that rocks like to fall off the hills, and uh, it's pretty cool. Slide area. Proceed only when passable. Oh, I ran a stop sign out on a one-way street. <laughs> ah. uh, 1,320 feet currently. We've traveled 4.2 miles. Look at this, though. There just ain't any guardrails, man. Look at this little edge right here. You're done, you're done. 
Alright, so I haven't seen too many public roads that have absolutely no guardrail on them. This would be one of them. Probably one of the coolest roads that I've seen uh, around here. There's the ocean. Oh, there's a guardrail. I lied, they do have one guardrail. <laughs> uh, that ain't gonna stop you from going too fast, though. There's a little bitty tiny post bent, post, uh, post fence poles. everywhere. It's getting cooler. It's always cooler down at the ocean. There's a nice view of the ocean. A few little made up sand concrete little things, but look at this one. You're done if you fall off that. past a thousand feet. Woo. Like the biggest hill I've ever been on in my life on a bike, you know what I'm saying? Back in my back in my hometown you couldn't find a hill this big. Point down a lot of big hills but not like this. down this hill, you are done. You are fly right off that corner right there. Done, man. Stop. Slide area. Proceed only when possible. What do you gotta do? Go back? It's a one-way street. Holy crap. pavement down here. This is a lot rough. That was that was upkept pretty well. We're at 312 feet. Dropping like a rock. Now you can't tell me this isn't one of the coolest roads you've seen. There's a lot of cool roads out there, but this is pretty neat since it's a one-way. It's not a two-lane road. It's just a one-way road down the mountain. Awesome. a little rough down here. Now I do have to go out on PCH, which is Pacific Coast Highway, and in theory I'm not supposed to be on the highway, but I know traffic isn't very fast, and I'm just going to go a short distance. So I'm not really concerned about the, the fact that I have to go on that. I'm at 150 feet. We're almost to the ocean. Now you cannot see where I started from the ocean, you can't see the road, so we won't be able to see that. You can certainly look back. There's the ocean! 
I've successfully made it to the ocean. I've never been on the ocean on my moped yet. The Utah full. I'm gonna go ahead and start this moped. There we go. Now we're gonna go left here. We're gonna drive up PCH a little ways. And uh, see if we can find a spot where we can get off and actually look at the ocean. Not sure if we'll be able to. Oh, my face itches behind my glasses and I can't get it. Lots of traffic on this road. There always is. As far as I'm concerned. behind me. It's all good.
let this car get some get some uh, I'm gonna let that car get some uh, get ahead of me a little bit we're at uh, 560 feet right here pull over here and see what this looks like real quick and we'll keep going look at that man there's the road I just came up on holy crap you fall on top of a car right there all right, I gotta see where uh, there's any cars. All right, here we go. Get our momentum back.
say for sure. I hope I got enough footage on this camera. of the earth from up here. I know those those little islands are actually, excuse me, like, uh, those are over uh, 20 mi 25 miles away, I'll look for sure. And that's the edge of the tip of uh, the actual state that I'm in. What am I in? California. So, yep, we're almost back to where we were. Let's keep going. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
back up. See? I'm going to pull over and adjust my... Uh... Look, there's the Los Angeles view and the ocean. So there we are. So we're back at uh, 2,300 feet. I'm going to stop this and save it. Heist for ocean, I don't know. Um, down. And up. PCH. So let's go back and look at our recorded data really quickly. I successfully um, drove 16.23 miles. It took me 35 minutes. I'd take off three or four minutes because we stopped. Um, 44 miles an hour was my max, which I didn't go downhill on motor speed. Average is 27. Max altitude, 2411. Minimum zero. I ascended 2,513 feet and I descended. That was ascend and I descended 2,490. Awesome. There's the graphical chart. There's like a weird spot right there. What happened to that? Like I lost data right here. It's completely died on me, but that's okay, I guess. Alright, so we are back where we started. So now let's go down the other way. I get to show you guys the other road. And actually, that's the road I rode up. Now, let's check my gas tank. See how much I got. Ah, I should have enough to get home. <laughs> I hope. So here we go. Get some momentum again. Ah! Now, I know for a fact that this way only has a one spot. So let's go back down. We're at, again, 2,300 feet. We're going to go back down to, uh, uh, well, what are we going back down to? 650 or so? So hopefully this recorded all of this and you guys have enjoyed the ride. You will enjoy the ride down this other hill as well. It's still a fun road to drive down, but uh, not that one laner. That one laner is so cool. There you go, I managed to ride down to PCH on my moped, and <laughs> that is pretty cool. Just the fact that I did that in general is awesome. That's such a pretty view. Yes, 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 yes. I gotta remember to keep my head up. <clears throat> So if I was looking down a lot, I apologize, but this camera works pretty well. But I have to get it angled right or else it doesn't stay the right way. So anyway, enjoy the ride down. I'll keep my mouth quiet, I presume. We can listen to it. There's uh, something else crazy happening. I don't know, maybe I should talk to you guys instead. Maybe I should take this time to tell you guys how much I love you all. And those of you who watch all of my videos, not just the related research or the crazy, insane, stupid ones, or, you know, whatever. I just, uh, I just really appreciate all you guys. You guys, you guys the reason I'm in California giving you this video right now. You guys have motivated me to come out here and pursue a life-changing thing. Try to pursue changing the way I see life and doing it in a way that you guys are involved and, you know, everyone gets to learn and everyone gets motivation. We keep each other going. I mean, it's just, you guys are just amazing. Um, so there, there's a few things I would love to just rant, rant about, you know, just talk about, rant about, I should say. And um, one of those things is this guy by the name of Fire Pinto. His name is Nate. Oh, this is the one spot I have to pedal. Nate, um... Nate's been a motivation. Me and me and Nate have motivated each other. You know, Nate is very creative. And he's the one who got me started with 3D printing as well as Jeff. And um, 
But Nate just comes up with these things and prints them and it's just awesome to watch him come up with these ideas. And he posted a video a little back, a little while back, maybe a month and a half ago or something, two months, I don't know. And uh, he was talking about, you know, how, how God created everything. Uh, and that's just so true, like, nothing has been, so we can stop at this view now since we're just slowing down, nothing, nothing was, like, there's nothing new under the sun, like, that's actually in the Bible, like, that's pretty amazing that that's in the Bible. Uh, there's lots of other ones. Check out this view. Oh, about 80, I got my front brake on. There's that same view. There's them islands. Now the other spot, that's the whole island down here. I'm sorry, not the island, but the land. So those mountains way out there, those are so far away. There's downtown Los Angeles. You can see the, the nasty stuff. That's smog. It's pretty nasty stuff. Some mountains over here. It's beautiful, beautiful view. It's uh, better to come up here on a clear, clear, clear day. Look at those mountains over there. Look like they're way even higher than the ones I'm on right now. No! Alright. So, back to this conversation, you guys. Um, I don't know. Nate just had the courage to come out and just express what he thought. And it really, uh, it really made me feel good that he did that. Because he came up with some valid points. Like... Everything's been created. Every, there's nothing new under the sun. Everything's been around. Everything has been created. We're just here recreating it, rediscovering it. So what that means is there's no reason at all for greed. There's no reason at all for be the first guy to do it. There's no reason for any of that. Like this solves the whole problem that I have with that with greed the fact that that we're all so excited to first try to do it and I mean I learned a long time ago that that's not a good way to do things um, you know I, I learned a long time ago that greed and being the first guy to do it I, it, I, I had to learn that though that's not something that I just one day woke up and decided I mean it is but I not from the beginning of my experience. Like, I started this thing out with being very excited about to be the first guy to do something. Like, go back and look at my old videos. I love the fact that I was the first guy to do something. I mean, I love the fact that I was the leader of the pack, if you will. Like, I enjoyed that. That's part of the reason I started doing this, was because I was advancing in something that... There's a road we took to go the other way. We're going to go this way. This is... Oh, the way I have to go to get home. So, like, I was excited about that. And now, um, my excitement comes from just people's positive comments. People's positive emails. People telling me that I helped them through something. Sometimes, I'll post a random video about my family, and I'll have somebody post something back telling me how just thankful that they are that I posted that video today because it made their day. It's like, that's why I make these videos. Sharp guard. That's why I make these videos. That's why I do this. Because the other guy gets encouraged, gets a smile on their face. Lady, men, kids, it doesn't matter. I'm not just talking to certain people. I'm talking to anyone who ever watches my videos. You know, I really enjoy making crazy videos and fun ones and taking a lot of time to edit them. And I, I actually, like, that's my one of my passions that I like. And I really, really, really like that. But, at the same time, Lately, I, I, I've just been trying to focus on giving you guys content that you would be that's useful instead of things that are 
crazy and entertaining and nutty and I just haven't had the time lately. Now all my all my research stuff to the different labs, so um, I can't just go up there and blow stuff up. It's not not real good on my behalf. So I have to be cautious and I have got to do some of the things that I want to do. And there is one thing I really want to tell you guys. And that is, you know, I, I I don't like to be one of those people who say they're going to do something and then don't. And there's a few things on my mind that I that I can I can recall that I did that. Uh, one of them is the pulse motor build off. I told you guys that I was going to have everyone on the uh, Shazaz radio show, and I haven't done it. But I haven't forgot either. I just haven't manifested it yet. I haven't put it together yet. It hasn't worked out yet. I just I haven't done that yet. So. There's that. There's the uh, 10,000 subscribers. I'm going to blow something up with the capacitor bank video that I haven't made yet. I'm over 15,000 subscribers and I haven't done it yet. And it's been bugging me. One of the other things I haven't done yet is Jason Verbeely sent me some magnets. And I was going to try to make something for him and I haven't done it yet. It bothers me. Things are on my mind constantly, and I just want to express to you guys that it bothers me. So sometimes life gets in the way. You know, with Stan Myers technology stuff, life just physically got in the way. I, I did too much in a short amount of time, and I burned myself out. And I had too many kids, and then I worked too many hours, and then I just got, I just couldn't handle it. Like too much. It's just physically too much to do. Whoa, there's a bump right there. I tried to miss it. So, I mean, these things bother me. I just want to let you, you guys know that I'm a doer. And you know that, but I'm expressing it anyway. Right, here's where I fell last time. And uh, I just want to express that, that I'm a doer. And uh, that I, I, I apologize for some of the things that happen when I tell you I'm going to do something and I don't. So, uh, I've had a lot of difficulty following my own words lately as far as um, just being more natural to myself, being more natural with the camera and for you guys. Uh, that has to do because I'm in a different environment and it's, a, it's just different for me. I'm not used to having people around making videos. I'm usually just expressing myself to the camera and I can do it, you know, I can do that freely in a closed garage, but with people around it's different. Same thing with the live view shows. Uh, it, it's, it's a bit tricky with people around because certain people don't like being on camera or I'm not hiding anything, but I'm in a guy's garage, so I have to respect uh, other people that are there. You know, family members and such. There are family members there. They do come out a lot. So I have to be respectful to them. Um, just just all, all sorts of different stuff. I have to be respectful. So live shows are kind of tricky. Uh, once I get done with this conference, I will be doing a lot more physical things. I took a lot of time to catch up on the forums and catch up on this. I have stuff to do on the forums. I need volunteers to help me accomplish some goals on the forum. Um, there are things that I haven't had time to do that I want to do, like organize the forum. It's a chaotic mess. And uh, there's lots of different things. Check out this corner. This corner is a lot of fun. Whee! So, um, yeah, so that's it. I'm going to be driving here now, but I just wanted to say thank you guys for keeping me keeping me in check at times, keeping it real, and all of the destructive arguments that we've had, you know, they all happen for a reason. It's been, it's, it's a good thing that some of these things happen. Um, there we go. Look, no pedaling. Ah. So anyway, I, I just, I love you guys. That's all I got to say. You guys are why I'm driving this moped today. So, here we go. The race to the other side of the hill. We're at 728 feet.